welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans. This song is called Lullaby by Johannes Brahms. It's a pretty recognisable tune. The reason I'm doing this song is because it was requested on my forums by a username Mads Shield or Mads Shield or how have you pronounced it. it. says it's recently become a new dad to a beautiful young daughter, so congratulations to you. You requested it and here it is. If anybody else wants to make a request, head over to the forums, fingerstarguitarforums.com. Check out the request forum there. So if you want to get hold of the tabs for this version, I'll click the link in the top of the description, take you to my website, you can download them for free. So let's get on with this lesson. We start off. Okay. So that is open second string twice. And then third fret on the second string, third fret on the sixth string together. Okay, followed by open four, open three. And do this twice until also it's. Okay, the third time. So that's open second, third fret on the second, and then pitch on first and sixth, but both fretted on the third. Okay? Okay? And then what we play next? Open four, second fret on the first, and then open three. Okay? So all together what we've got is and next we move on to okay so you make this shape here second fret on the sixth second fret on the third third fret on the second okay so you start off two strokes on the first string the second of those strokes comes with a six, followed by four and then two. Okay? So we've got Okay, next. So you lift off the second string, you play three and then two. Back onto the first fret of the second string, pinch on two and six. Followed by four then three. Okay. So you play this twice and so on. very last line of this part. Okay, so that's third string, second string, both fitted on where they were, second and first. Okay. So you move over to the second, it's basically a D shape if you want to make a D shape. Second fret on the first and third string, third fret on the second string. So you play one and four together to begin, pull enough to open on the first string. So then you play the second string, back onto the first string on the second fret. Okay. Third fret on the first and sixth, followed by four and then three open. Okay, so if we back and back just a little bit. Okay, so next.
Okay, so we move to a C shape here. The first, two strokes on the open third, and then that C shape. So it's first fat on the second string, second fat on the fourth string, third fat on the fifth string. But with this C, you're adding your little finger on the third fret of the first string to begin. Okay, you play five and one to begin. Followed by four and then three. Okay. Lift off your little finger off the first string. Play one and two. Into a G on the third fret of the second and sixth string, play two and six together, followed by four and three. Okay, then open two, open three. So what we've got is Pretty tricky sequence. Okay. So it's to the first fret on the second, second fret on the third, second fret on the sixth. Two and six to begin, followed by four, up to the third fret on the second. Okay. And then three and then one finish off. And then back to the G, third fret on the second and sixth string, followed by open four, open three. Like we did earlier, okay? And then back into the C, you repeat. C and that G is identical to the first time. This time, okay, that bit's slightly different. So to the same shape again, six and two to begin. Open four, open two, and then four and three to finish off. the G shape, third fret on the six with the open four, sorry, the open three. Okay, so that last line goes. Okay, and that should just about be it, like I said. Go and check out the tabs if you're not sure on anything, or if you wanna ask a question, Drop them in the forums, or if you want to make a request, get to the forums again as well. Fingerstyleguitarforums.com If you want to go and look at a list of all the tutorials that I've ever made, which are all absolutely free, click on the bottom right hand side of your screen now, uh, it'll give you a list of all those tutorials that I've made. Tabs, they're likely below me if you've got your annotations on, otherwise, top of the description as always. So that's it, thanks for watching, I'll see you again in the next one, bye for now.